We're doing a uh, mobile canyon cooking. Okay, so, so we're actually we're just gonna. Yeah. Watch your, the <laughs> well, we're gonna censor that out anyway, <laughs> or otherwise it might get taken off YouTube. Honestly. <laughs> How's it going everyone? My name is Devin. I'm James, as y'all know. Welcome to today's bush cook. It's currently 7.45 in the morning. What is this? Horse Thief Canyon? Horse Thief Canyon. We're uh, canyon cooking. We're canyon bush cooking. Canyon bush cook, and it's bush breakfast. We're doing a bush breakfast. Yeah, so uh, we've got the table. We actually brought everything down here today for the uh, dramatic effect of it. Plus it's gonna be super sweet having breakfast out here. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get set up. We got the jet boil down here. We got the little burner. We're gonna get some coffee on the go. Might as well get going. Yeah, we're gonna get going. Jet boil Genesis. <laughs> this one's for you, Mac. Quick breakfast. Unreal. It's gonna be unreal. Or as one would say, super dece. <laughs> it's a little windy out here today. <laughs> as with every breakfast, you gotta start it right with a little bit of coffee. We used to be instant coffee folk when we were camping. But you really, really can't beat French press, to be honest. <laughs> out in the bush. We just do like two Java mills full of coffee, I guess. All right, so step one bush cook uh, for today. We got coffee on the boil. Obviously you need coffee when you're having breakfast. Uh, first ingredient that we're gonna use today is we're gonna do up some pure pork sausage. Get your jet boil going. It's a little windy out here, so. It's really windy. All right. We uh, we missed uh, the beginning. That's fine. Um, but sack lunch today. We've got eggs. We've got sausage, as we showed you. We're gonna get that on the go here pretty quick. We've got salsa, sour cream, grated cheddar cheese, uh, spinach if you want, and then we've got some white uh, tortillas. And we're just gonna go ahead and suck some burritos down, drink some coffee, enjoy the sunrise, and uh, that's pretty much it for our trip. That's why you drink coffee in the morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right, so but. step one, uh, get your sausage on. We're sorry if the audio is garbage, uh, but get the sausage on. We're gonna let that cook down for a bit. Once it gets uh, fatty and oily, we'll uh, get the eggs going. Oh yeah. And then uh, <laughs> that's pretty much it, to be honest. Super yeah. easy. Yeah. One pan. Once it starts rendering down a little bit, I'll be... Got an go slow. All right, this is gonna be, we do, do not recommend this at home. Watch yourself behind it. Yeah. So today, today's bush cook, we're doing a uh, mobile canyon cooking. Okay, so, so we're actually we're just going yeah. We're gonna march our way over here. As you can see, we got Foreman James directing me. Whoa, oh, and instantly, instantly we got sizzle, man. A little change of plans there. On the go plans that didn't affect the cooking whatsoever. All right, we've made do. We're out of the wind. Who can I roast, Brad? Well, we have to roast Paige too. So we got the coffee going. Sausage is rendering, cooking down. Once the sausage is about, I don't know, 90% done, that's when we're gonna throw the eggs on and scramble the eggs. And that's pretty much it. 
We're gonna make our burritos and we're gonna suck them down. Yeah, if you've uh, if you've never made French press coffee, it's pretty much four to six minutes. For you want a coarse grind coffee, you don't really want a fine grind in your French press. It's just gonna push right through your French press. Dude, what a feat! We just walked this thing with two stoves going, pot of hot water. It's perfect. You don't want too small of pieces. Some chunky, some chonkers. Yeah, that's a good. You don't want it like the old spaghetti factory bolognese. You know how like fine it's like meat yeah, sand. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's weird. Or like the Taco Bell. Um, I don't know what everybody's deal with Taco Bell is. Man. I personally think it's kind of trash. You know Taco Bell started selling hot dogs? It wasn't called Taco Bell yet. But it's really? like the guy, the founder, his last name was Bell, and he started the hot dog stand. And then he started selling tacos, and the tacos were a huge hit. So then he started Taco Bell. That's all. Last night we had, uh, during our uh, last camp cook, there were some kids out drinking for a birthday party. Yeah, there were some ruckus. We imagine they were quite young and haven't really ever been out camping alone. It honestly, it sounded like their first time drinking. Because the one kid called his mom and said, I'm in the middle of the wilderness. I'm drunk. We were like camped like, like three minutes well, out of town. Yeah, it's and like, jump hell is three minutes that way. And we got cell service like yeah. at the campsite. Yeah. So funny. Four minutes is done, coffee is done. Pretty much everyone knows what a French press is. Slowly push it down. And that's your coffee. Wow! wow. Apparently where we live, everywhere you go, is windy all of the time. But it's Wind. funny because the forecast is always like wind up to four kilometers an hour and then we go outside and it's like as soon as I put the drone up in the air, 50 kilometer an hour gusts. So bad. We'll slap some drone shots in right now because why not? a few of my favorite shots there. All right, so I get your eggs going in the pan here, folks. All right, so now we're just scrambling all the eggs uh, in with the sausage. And that's gonna cook up nice for a burrito. So, when you order breakfast burritos at McDonald's, this is not what goes on. This is what we're doing here, nice dark brew. You got salt and pepper? Or? Nope. Okay. You don't need it anyways. It's cooking in salty sauce. Yeah, yeah it's true. It's great. Alright guys, uh, so we've got the sausage and eggs done, cooked up nicely. We are going to divvy them up into our burritos. So this is the, the proper Hooterito protocol. Cheese first. Very important. So that's good, eh? I think, because you want it to be like... <laughs> so we got tortilla, um, lots of cheese. And then that's a mix between salsa and sour cream. So this is uh, half a tube of pork sausage and four whole eggs. This is like a... This is like the best, one of the best breakfasts, I want to say. Now you might be saying, oh my god, that's you never going to be able to know that. Yeah, we are. So we did bring spinach. You can put some greens on there. As uh, Brody Moss would say. Oh no, some, it blew away with the wind. Some, some green <laughs> shit. Need a little of that. Just give it a little. Like some of that's a little soggy and beyond its due date, but you know, whatever. Oh, man. 
Now, when it's too full, you're gonna bite this end off anyways, so it's best just to roll one side. And then this is gonna be a tight boy, but you will be able to roll it. Just use the tortilla to your advantage. Suck it tight. And that's a perfect roll right there. <laughs> How did you get that good of a roll? You should have paid attention. <laughs> All right, my first taste is not gonna be as grass. Yeah, well, we're gonna censor that out anyway. <laughs> or otherwise it might get taken off YouTube, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right, guys. So highly recommend. This one's super easy. Mm -hmm. And super good. Especially if you don't have a ton of wind. Brad's gonna say. That's why you don't use fuel canisters. You gotta use that liquid gas. <laughs> Alrighty guys. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of uh, Bush Cooking. We hope you enjoyed it. Super easy cook like Devin said. Until the next one, click the thumbs up, like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do with it. Share it if you could. There's going to be lots more Bush Cooking to come. Until next time guys, get outdoors.